uh, good afternoon class uh, in this video i'm going to teach you on how to factorize quadratic expressions so the questions behind me goes as follows factorize the following completely part a x squared plus 2x plus 1 part b 2t squared minus t minus 3 so these are quadratic expressions now when you are factorizing quadratic expressions there are things that you should put into consideration you have to borrow the concept of product sum factor in other words p s f so as for question a So in this question, we have to find the product, the sum, and the factor. The product is obtained by multiplying the coefficient of x squared to constant. So x squared, its coefficient, it is 1. So 1 times 1, product is 1. Then sum is going to be 2. Then factors. You have to look for two numbers you can multiply to give you the product of 1. The same numbers, if you had them, they should give you the product of the sum of 2. So the factors are going to be 1, 1. So x squared, the essence of us looking for the factors we have to remove where there is 2x and replace the same factors. So we are going to have plus x plus x plus 1. Then we close in the bracket. So now the common factor here is x. x into x squared, we shall remain with x plus x into x, 1. What, do, what is going to be co common here is 1. So this will be x plus 1. At this stage, we have to add the factors. So we are going to add x plus 1. Then we write one expression. At this stage, you have to make sure that what is written in the first bracket should be equal to what is written in the second bracket because you are only allowed to write one expression. So it will be x plus 1. You are done. Then we go to part B. 2t squared minus t minus 3 so the product here is going to be negative 6 then sum negative 1 as for the factors we are going to have 3 and 2 now we have to make sure that 3 and 2 should give us the product of negative 6 and the sum of negative 1 so we have to attach negative to 3 so that we can have the product as well as the sum. So 2t squared minus 3t plus 2t minus 3. We have to enclose. So what is common in the first bracket is t. So t out will remain with the 2t minus 3. In the second bracket, we have 1, which shall remain with 2t minus 3. At this stage, we have to add the factors where t is going to be added to 1. So it will be t plus 1, then 2t minus 3. Therefore, open bracket t plus 
1, then 2, t minus 3. So this is how you should factorize quadratic expressions. If there are questions, feel free to ask or to comment on my video. Thank you.